I think because they've created a system that works very smoothly when each gender acts a certain way. And sometimes when we act outside of those roles, we can, we can kind of make waves and they want the system to stay the way that it is. Do you ever think that this will change? Absolutely. Well, I feel at a time there was a, there's a predisposition to the fact that like historically when people play different roles, uh, well, yeah, because they're like they have different roles in society. Yeah, there's, there's, there's they're, they're two different things. Do. Like you can't like I mean you could put them together. I mean like I know there's all that stuff going on, but I'm just saying that there's some people that I don't know. I don't know. Like, um, well, I think society is really really preoccupied with uh, labeling things. Um, um, you know, organization and stuff, and having people who um, don't necessarily. I shouldn't even say that. Um, a lot of people can accept that those boxes and those ways to organize um, people and label people, I suppose, uh, are changing. Um, so definitely tradition is really rooted in how society is changing. I think it is changing. I think it's in the process of changing and that that change is happening slowly. I think we'll get a point where it's just kind of the full gender spectrum and how people both identify and present are totally acceptable to everybody because why why not? <laughs> Uh, I think the society is like stuck in the past and wants to keep their traditional ways, I guess. Um, honestly, it's pretty sad how the society is putting pressure on young uh, men and women that are growing up and that I think that they should feel free to express themselves and be who they are and that uh, like you are who you are and that you shouldn't change for like what people are saying about you. I mean, I hope it will change. Um, I think that we still have a lot of work to do in changing uh, the society because honestly it's happening all over the world. In the United States, it is pretty bad in some places, but we do have it good compared to a lot of the world. This is what society is used to doing. All we'll see ever do is stereotype people. So it wants girls to be stereotyped because they're another thing that can be stereotyped. Religion plays a huge role in it, and like cultural expectations, like coming from an Asian family, you like they expect you to marry another Asian partner, opposite gender, and like have kids, so your grand so you can lead on the family name and stuff like that. And so you can definitely feel the pressure on you when it comes to that kind of situation. Um, I don't actually know. I feel like it's just something that started where like the men wanted to feel more powerful and then there started to be all these labels that like for men the traits they were supposed to have were like power and dominance and strength and then the women had to be like the gatherers and they had to be small and delicate and pure. Like in the 1800s, I know that girls were seen out as way less than men than they are now. Like the suffragettes in England, you know, they fought for voting rights because they didn't even have that. And you couldn't get a job that paid as well as a man's. Like you would do the same job or work more and you would still get paid less. And even though like equal pay is still a problem now, I feel like there's definitely been a lot of progress like in voting rights and there continues to be progress in equality, and I would hope that that just continues as time goes on. We just need to change our ways, but that's not going to happen. As far as media goes, like everything's getting worse. They're producing more of those like demeaning. I don't know, just demeaning pictures, images, messages to girls, and all the girls are taking it in now. You know, so I think it's just going to get worse from there. I mean, it's changing slowly already. Um, but uh, there's, you know, I, I remember my mom 
saying is like, well, she couldn't have gone to Harvard because it was a boys only school. Um, that's changed. Uh, I, I went to, I remember like the private high schools, but most of those used to be gendered and they aren't anymore. So there's more opportunities there. Um, but on the other hand, I look at what's happening in, in toys and you know, Legos used to be not gendered at all and now there's there's the princess Legos and the you know uh, cars and like and machines Legos you know marketed to boys. Well I think in the past people were very close minded and um, in a lot of cultures like <laughs> it's very specific like how people should be and now it's a lot better and there's a lot more um, like I don't I can't think of it. like it's way more flexible but I think in the past like people were very set on like the right and the wrong but I'm not like sure what that means. Maybe religion or something like that. Um I think like the ads that people yeah, are coming definitely. Like in English we are like I mean, like, I be English, and we, like, are talking and studying about, like, gender roles and, like, how the, they, like, portray what a man should be and what a woman should be. Like, there's this ad that I did a presentation on that was, like, about littering. It was an anti-littering campaign, and, like, it was a picture of a girl littering, and it goes, this isn't pretty, and then it's a picture of a guy littering it, this isn't smart, and it's like, well, should a woman really want to be pretty, and should a man really want to be smart? Like, I think that there's also just, it's just very subtly everywhere, kind of, like, also, I think the majority of people are kind of, like, portray very gender, like, gender specific aspects I guess just because that's what they feel like they'll be most comfortable with like they feel like people won't make fun of them or they just don't have the courage to be, stand out or be themselves and I think a lot of that is influenced maybe from like family or definitely society and media. I think it started out with um I don't know, we're, reading, we're learning about this in history right now, and I think there's always been like a tendency, but I think it really got bad when like Christianity and Catholicism and like like uh, like Jamestown, I think in the 1700s is when it got really bad, because there were so many expectations that a man has to do this, and purity, purity I think was one of the, the killers, because a man wasn't expected to be pure, but a woman was, and all this is like, bullshit, but... So why do you think this continues to stick in people's minds? Money. Um, I mean, money and we feel the need to put, you know, so on the top there's, oh, let's sell people products, and then below that there's, oh, let's fit into these products. So then it's basically, it's not a pyramid scheme, but it's like a big trickle-down effect of, okay, there's this one person that wants to sell you something, they're influencing you. Because they're influencing you, all these other people feel the need to influence you because they, they're influenced also, and it's just a big, it's a big, ugly circle. Well, I think a big part of it has to do with the um, advertising companies, because if they can sell this sort of image, well, it does sell. That's been proven. So by keeping that image, it ensures that they're able to sell things, and just people don't do anything about it. They let it happen. Do you ever think that this will change? I think society likes to stick with the status quo. I think it's easier than trying new things. 
Do you ever think that this will change? Yes, I think it is already changing. It's great. I think it's a societal pressure to be able to grow up that human beings, you know, as we were used to be younger way back in the day, 13 years old you were considered an adult. And that's why we have quinietas or whatever they call it, uh, and then also bar bar mitzvahs and uh, all the other things when you're so much younger. Today, you know, we're allowing ch children to grow and things grow into what they want to do. Of course, we're always ever changing. I think it just comes from the past. Like it's just like old thing. Like the girls, you know, used to stay home and cook and like do all the womanly things and like help the men. And like it's just something that's out of date and has stuck around and affected like future generations. Yeah, I think it's a, it like has a very historical prevalence. Like we had um, men like growing up fast, going to war or whatever. Women. Maybe in a factory making things for the men. So you have a starting point where it's women doing something for the man. And I think it's still hard for us to get away from that. And I don't think we're really gonna get away from that anytime soon. And also, it's like you talk about like the pink stereotype. Like it was like pink. It was like blue. <laughs> I don't know. Um, that's I think highly media based and like little kid TV shows like have the little girl Toys. dressed in pink, the toy, yeah, just just the toy for marketed to. That's a good question. Um You know, I think sometimes people just, you, it's a culture thing, you just kind of get into a rut, and this is the way we've always done it, so we assume that that's the right way to do it. Um, you know, when in other cultures, things can be totally different, and, you know, they don't question how they are, um, just the same way we don't, a lot of people don't question the way things are here. Um, I think when you, it's just, it's just scary to do different things, and to kind of, be different. Plus, if you change, people get really good, right, at doing certain things. So if you think like, okay, being a boy or being a male is part of who I am, um, and then someone says, well, no, it can be this other way. We're like, well, I'm used to playing by these rules. I'm really good at these rules. So if you change it, I might not be as good at that, and I'm more comfortable with these, these things. I think, I think slowly it is changing. Um, Maybe and maybe that's just growing up in Portland in LA where it feels like maybe it's a little bit more permissible uh, to be different. But it seems like now, I mean, it's definitely room to grow. But it seems like even now, I still see um, I see more of people being like, okay, like, oh, okay, you know, you want to do your own thing, man, or whatever. That's cool. You do you. That's great. More so than you know. 15 or 20 years ago, but, and probably, I mean, I wasn't around 40 or 50 years ago, but I think it's probably better even than it was then, but I think it's just gonna take a long, long time. And there's been a lot of just ideas that, I don't even know how to, who did that? Who created those? They're like, there's just all these like ideas and like roles and things that have been created like a long ass time ago and they just keep being reinforced and like the media especially reinforces them because they want to sell things and make us feel bad and so that we think that we need this or this or this to be good or be I don't know how they were made, but they were made, and then I think they just keep being reinforced because like they keep people in boxes, and the people who are like trying to like sell us stuff and just like make us like control us just want us to stay in those boxes so that they can like you know keep us all. But it's just dumb because it's just limiting. It's limiting the whole entire world. Like if you just keep everybody in these places instead of letting them be whatever they want and like making them believe that they're good. The ignorant and closed-minded people before them did that to them. I think that it is changing. I think that it's starting to change, but it's going to be a long, long road.